Hello boys and girls. We are going to be reading a new story. It's called Making Music and it is written by Cameron McIntosh. Now this book, look at this picture. Is that a real picture or a, or a picture that somebody drew? It's a real picture. It's a real picture of a real boy. So that tells me that this book is nonfiction. It means it's about real things in real life. So I know you have this book at home, so go ahead and grab it so you can read it with me. Point to the title of the page, right up here, Making Music. This is the front cover, touch the front cover. This is the back cover, touch the back cover. All right, we are gonna do our first read of this story. The author is Cameron McIntosh. He is the person that wrote the words. All right, we have our page over here. This is our table of contents. It tells us where certain things are in the story. So if you want to learn more about a part of our lives, you go to page two. If you want to learn about musical instruments, you go to page four. If you want to learn about instruments around the world, you go to page eight. And there's all different ones that can um, you can go to and look at. All right, let's read. A part of our lives. Music is an important part of our lives. It brings us together and makes our lives more fun. Every culture has its own music. In some places, music has been a part of the culture for thousands of years. Musical instruments. Most music is made with musical instruments. Do you play an instrument? There are lots of different musical instruments that you can try. There is one special instrument that everyone can use. Your voice is an instrument too. You can use your voice anywhere. You can sing by yourself or with other people. A group of singers is called a choir. Singing in a choir is a fun way to learn about music. Instruments around the world. There are all sorts of interesting instruments around the world. Some children play the ankle bells. The bells ring as they move their feet. Some children play the pan pipes. They blow across the top of the pipes to make different sounds. Some children play the clap sticks. The clap sticks make a sound when they are tapped together. Some children play tribal drums. The drums are played by hand rather than with drumsticks. And some children play the chop chas. These are rattles made from toenails of goats. Ways to play. There are lots of different ways to play music. Some people play music that has been written down. Each dot or circle is the in the music is a note to be played. The music tells the player which note to play and how long to play it for. Some people don't write down music. They play music that they have learned by memory. Some people write their own music or make it up as they go. It's good for us. Singing or playing a musical instrument is good for us too. Our brains get lots of exercise when we make music. This is good for our memory. Singing or playing music in a group also helps us to work well with other people. We can all make music. Even if you don't have an instrument, you can still make music. You can clap your hands or stomp your feet. You can hum or sing or whistle. Everyone can have fun when they make music. And then here's some directions to make your own drum. Drums are lots of fun. Drums are lots of fun to play. Let's make one. You'll need a large round metal can a piece of colored cardboard, electrical tape, tissue paper, scissors, sticky tape, and two pencils. Then it gives more directions on how to make the drum. And here is our glossary. So this gives us words that we might not know. All right, boys and girls, we were just doing our first read today. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper tomorrow.